DeAndre Ayton and Montrez Harrell will jump it. Montrez Harrell making his first start of the year. The Lakers have a ton of injury problems. We'll get you that list momentarily. He can't hit the three. Morris with a rebound. Contavious Caldwell Pope misses a three, and there's Ayton to clear it away. Yeah, and Pope has been struggling. I mean, it's the last three games only total of 19 points was one for five in their last game against Golden State. That could have been a big shot for him, B.A., to see it go in early. It's a viable option for uh, most of the population, Jimmy, as Aiden knocks down the free well, that's throw. That's what it's there for. Remember that great run in the bubble last year? They went 8-0. Monty Williams was the coach of the bubble, if you will. 22-11 and 11 record right now. They're riding third in the West. Now the Lakers had the Nets. They ran into a hot Miami. They ran into a hot Wizards team even. Montrez. And there's a limited range. Still has not expanded his game. By well, that time he had to fade to create enough space. Not elevating high enough, but space allowed him to get a shot off. A great defense from oh. LeBron right there on eight. Wow, he has matched up with Aiden a couple of times. This time he wins that battle. Shooter all the way. The scoop won't go. There's Harrell with the board. They don't beat themselves with a lot of turnovers, but they're able to defend multiple positions based on their lineups. And that right there, LeBron did not call that one either. Mikhail Bridges off to a good start, knocking down a couple of shots early. Excellent defender in his own right, as is Aiden. And Aiden going to work on Harrell. Frank Vogel never afraid to mix and match, and he's going to be forced to do that tonight. Sharich gets to the middle, looking for Aiton. He's deep. Aiton scores. You know what? i tell you what. I feel for Jared Dudley. It was maybe my second year in the league. We were decimated by injuries in Dallas, and I'm playing the four. Okay, and at that time, see a block shot. Five of nine shooting, missed two threes. Nice pass inside. Aiton got it deep and scores it over Marquise Morris. Where he wanted to go with the ball, which was inside to Aiton once he got clear with his dribble. Here goes Caruso now. Aiton's on him. Can't shake him. And Aiton grounded that time. Gave Caruso a free look. He missed it, though. It allowed Aiton to be able to establish himself inside. Four assists for Chris Paul. Aiton fumbles with it. Comes up short. Booker all the way in, denied by Damian Jones. He's already had an impact on defense. Caruso in the corner over Crowder. No. And Aiden secures the board. Booker coming off a season high 43 points. And he made just one three pointer in that game against Minnesota Sunday. LeBron gets Aiden in the air, draws the foul, count the basket. The <laughs> or play alongside of Montrez to get a quick post up. But again, the versatility in James allows the offense for the Lakers to be more versatile as well. Yeah. He just identified where Aiden was at. And once Aiden came off the baseline, that was easy money for Montrez inside. For Montrez. He mentioned his first field goal, Stu. He had a free throw before. Here's Aiden baseline. Going to come up short. Rebound right into the waiting midst of uh, LeBron James. They've lost a lot of games here against the Lakers over the years haven't won in this venue since 2017 but this is oh up top nice feed Booker to DeAndre Ayton you're playing a shorthanded Lakers team down three significant pieces Ayton on the loose ball gets it up ahead Booker lays it in and a foul instead of guys saying okay I'm under the rim I'm gonna stay here and get a layup you run out to the three-point line And the Lakers lost all four games. Schroeder missed. Of course, Davis was out as well. LeBron again on the attack, again going after DeAndre Ayton. You know, but I don't know if it was the, the pass back to the official. I think he said something, too, while passing the ball, and the official probably heard it. You know, for that technical to be that quick, he had to say something because that's just too quick. Ayton gets the bounce are the ones where it really affects their play because it's choppy. Johnson dumps it in. Aiden, turn around. No good. Horton Tucker with a rebound. 